This video is produced by Godly Christian Ministries. If you'd like to find more resources like it, you can go to www.godlychristianministries.com. This is the third video in a four-part video series on the Word Bible software. In the first video, we learned how to download and install the software. The second video, we learned how to install modules and other Bibles and dictionaries and commentaries to the program. And in this video, we'll be looking at how to do some general usages of the software. And the last video, we'll be looking at tips and tricks and other uh, things, other more advanced features. All right, well, let's get started. We have a lot of stuff to cover. In this video here, or when you first start up uh, the software, uh, you'll see that we have some different, this is a little splash window, uh, welcome window will pop open here. And you have uh, beginners, basic, default, we'll just click beginners. Uh, that was a new new feature that they added in recently, and the software is updated often. So if you don't see that in the future, it just things get changed around, so don't be concerned about it. When you first open up the thing here, you're going to see the, the Bible. And over here, you're going to see the different chapters. If I click on 16 here, I'm in Genesis 16 now. Over here, we have the, uh, the Bible tree. And over here, we can uh, select any. You can see all the books of the Bible here. And I can select on John, and now John popped up. I can click this little plus sign there and expands it out. I can select chapter 10, and now I'm in John chapter 10. If I click on little plus again there next to there, I will expand it out. And if I click on verse uh, 42, it highlights uh, verse 42 right at the end here. All right, well, that's basically how you navigate around the Bible. Uh, you can expand and collapse all these things here by doing hitting the pluses and the minuses but all your books are right there all right let's click view layout predefined layouts and novice all right now when it pops up here you'll see right off the bat that we got the bible here again not too much has changed still got our chapters over here we have uh, the bible tree again and we can see all of our books of the bible in here but now we also have the Bible search view, and we have Strong's numbers. If you hover your mouse over a Strong's number, it pops up with the uh, uh, definition for either the Greek or the Hebrew word. How this works is you have the English here, and then you have a number after it. That number corresponds with this English English set of words right here, and the the number corresponds to the the Greek or Hebrew word that this English was translated from and so you can find out real quickly what this was originally translated from alright now over here in the Bible view let's just do a quick search for let's say uh, the verse that says that the Holy Spirit is given to those who obey him uh, obey God <laughs> uh, so let's just do uh, obey just find words that are in that in the thing that we're looking for in the verse obey holy spirit uh, give and now I'm going to click right here the green arrow and it popped up with 2580 matches um, the reason it did the search it did a search here in the King James Bible because right on this little section here I'm clicked on current Bible it's doing the search on the current Bible okay and now I'm going to adjust this around so we can see it a little bit better. All this stuff is mo adjustable and you can move it around and stuff. All right. I'm just going to tweak all this a little bit. You'll understand why I'm doing this in a couple seconds. This collapses everything down. I'm going to hit the plus there. Okay. Now you can see a quick graph of, of my whole search. You can see real quickly that I have all these different uh, things here, and this shows how many times it found it in each book of the Bible. It gives me a percentage of my total and how many individual things it found in each one, and this is all expandable. Uh, and you can click on individual verses, and it will take you to it right off the bat. So it found holy. And you'll see there it only found holy. It didn't find all these, and there's a reason for that. Down in the details here, I did an or search, uh, so it found any verse in the Bible that had obey or holy or spirit or give uh, that's you see it described down here obey holy spirit or give um, but you can limit your searches to the New Testament or the Old Testament or different sections here 
You can also limit it to different books of the Bible and different things by, by changing the range. But I want to do an and search. So I clicked and match only. So now it's doing obey and holy and spirit and give. All right, when I click it now, I don't find I found zero matches, but that's probably because I was thinking of a different translation. So I'm going to switch from King James now to the Net Bible. And because I'm still selected on current Bible, it's going to uh, do my search on the Net Bible now. Now I'm going to click the little green arrow here again, and now I actually found something. I click on the plus here, it expanded it out. I click on the uh, the verse, and it took me right to it. Or I could hover my mouse over it, and I'll see it right off the bat there too. All right, now I'm going to scroll down here, and now I want you to see that I don't have to squint my eyes to read this. I can come to these little magnifying glasses here, and I can click on the the plus one here, and it'll make it, the text a lot bigger. I just clicked on it several times. Now I can read this really easy. And we are witnesses of these events, and so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. All right, well, that's what I was looking for. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so I can see this a little bit more clear. You see that it actually highlighted and underlined the words that I did my search for. But the word give was, I searched for give, and it found give in. Uh, there's a reason for that. Let's take a peek at that. Over here under the details for the search, I didn't check off uh, whole words only. And so it searched for when it searched for give, it also searched for give in or gives. Or, you know, it could have, it also did a search for spirits or anything like that. So it, when it did, it did the search, it was searching for anything that had that uh, a G, I, a V, and an E in a word. And then it gave me the results. And as a result, it gave me give in as well, which helped me find my search. I wouldn't have found it if I had checked whole words only. But let's say I, I did a search and I, I knew I was only looking for a give. And I got tons and tons of things. I could narrow it down by clicking whole words only. Uh, so, all right. Now, the reason why I didn't find it in King James was because it didn't use uh, its Holy Ghost instead of Holy Spirit. But it still says, whom God has given to them that obey him. All right. Now, let's keep going. Uh, go to layout, predefined layouts, and we'll go to basic. All right, now things change around a little bit again here, and we see the Bible still here with our Strong's numbers. We see the, the Bible tree. Over here we have a Bible search view, so that got moved from down over here over to the opposite corner. This over here is something new, the book search view. Uh, I will cover that in the next video. And right here we have uh, something new here. It's a book view. And so right here we can... Uh, see that we got a couple different things here. These are modules that I have installed in, in here. I have a Webster's Dictionary. I also have an Adam Clark Commentary, which I installed both of these on here myself, just for the demonstration. Over here, I'm going to click on a word. I'm going to click on Condemn. Uh, and you'll see here that there's some stuff is highlighted. I'm going to click on Webster's, and now I have Webster's Dictionary of Condemn, or let's say Believeth. It found uh, Believe. Uh, and popped it up in here because I'm still selected on Webster's Dictionary. But I have some other options here. Adam Clark and uh, Treasury Scripture and stuff like that. And what that's, these are actually commentaries. And let me just select net here real quick so it's easier to see. Um, for verse 18, uh, it's giving me these. Adam Clark's is also selected. For verse 18, this is Adam Clark's commentary in verse 18. On here, it's for verse 20. And uh, see right there. So you can you can do all this stuff real quick like that. Now you can also do another view here, layout, and predefined layouts. And let's go to default. And it's got all my modules here. It's got commentaries over here. But I can also switch this by clicking on this little green Bible here and make this all my dictionaries now. So you can kind of switch these things around and, and uh, do them differently. One quick thing here, if you want to copy a verse, click on a verse, right click it, copy verses. You have a whole bunch of different options here that you can see. Uh, click copy and close and you copied it. Alright, I'm going to cover a whole bunch of stuff in the next video, but I hope this helped you.